Hi, it's Peter here. Finally, there is an AI-based software that can find my images from my hard drives. Exire Search 2 and Exire Photo is a game changer. It works so well. This is huge for me and most likely it is huge for you if you decide to get that software. In this video I'm going to talk about the Exire Search 2, which is a Lightroom plugin. The Exire Photo is a standalone software. And a disclaimer, this software and the license keys were sent to me from Exire, but they did not tell me what to say on this video, nor did they see this video before and no money, you know, changes. But I got the software for free and I've been using it since last September. And there is an affiliate link in the description down below if you are interested in getting the software after you have watched this video. Affiliate links are links that if you click that and buy something, I do get a small commission from your purchase. But of course, you do not pay any extra. So it's a win-win situation. You get great software and I get some support from you, which is much appreciated. So if you use that link, thank you very much. And they do have a great deal right now, which I will tell a bit later in this video. But let's start looking at the software. Right now I have about 270,000 images in my Lightroom catalog. That's a quite a lot of images. And of course, that's not all. <laughs> I have a lot of CDs that images are still on those. I haven't transferred them to, to different hard drives yet. But since I do that, the amount will be a lot bigger. That is quite a huge amount. And you can probably understand when you have that big amount of images, finding the images is not that easy. Of course, I do have set the file structure so that I have year, month and day and also what's inside that day folder. So I have a pretty good, uh, what do you say, a idea what's in that particular folder when I go through them in Lightroom. But of course, finding a certain image, I need to have keywords in my images. And some of them, yes, they do, but not all of them. And that is a bit of a problem if I need to find something. And here, where Exire comes to the rescue. But before we get into the actual software, there are a few things you need to do before you can start using it. Of course, you need to download and, and install the software, but then you need to initialize the catalog so that Exire knows what's in your catalog, what images are there. And I set it to initialize in the evening and it was done in the morning when I woke up. I'm not really sure how long it took, but that's probably a, the best way to do it because it, it's not instant. It takes takes several hours with that amount of images. And of course, it depends on how fast your computer is. Exire itself says that 95,000 images on a M1 processor Mac takes about an hour. There's a rough estimate how, how long it takes, but do it during the night or during a time that you don't need to use your images because it's not instant. And the great thing is that there are a lot of different ways of making the search. As I said, I don't have keywords on every image on Lightroom, but I don't need them because Exire Search has the keywords inside its own software somewhere in the database. And one thing, Exire does everything locally in your computer. It doesn't use the cloud, so it doesn't send any information out of your computer. That's what Exire told me. So it's safe in that sense. They don't send any information somewhere to be processed. They do everything in your computer, which is a good thing, I think. But the ways to search is you can use example photos, which is really interesting. You can choose a photo and make Exire search similar type of images from your hard drive. So that if you, if you need certain type of image, you can choose one and then make the search. Then it can use keywords, which are inside Exire. You don't need to have the keywords in Lightroom. Exire can use it, its own database that it has done when, when it was initializing the catalog. And that's really good. And there is the big part. You don't need to have the uh, keywords in Lightroom. You can find faces. And the funny thing is that you can also choose the amount of smile you want. If you want really serious or if you want really smiling faces, you can you can choose that too. So it, it will it will find those images for you. And that's that's really something that's that's a lot more than just to, uh, you know, looking around for faces. And you need to be a bit cautious if you use elderly search criteria. Because when I did a few photos of my wife popped up and I don't want her to know. So shh, don't tell her. <laughs> You'll be careful if that happens to you. And then you can transfer keywords 
to your images, which is which is the one where where you have the Xire keywords uh, imported to Lightroom catalog, which which is also a good thing. But there are really really good ways and many ways of finding images. But of course, then we have to talk about how good it is. And of course, it makes mistakes. It's not perfect, 100% perfect. But in my experience, it's good enough to find the right images that you need. The only downside might be the amount of images. If you have a lot of images of people, you might get a lot of results. And that's, of course, a bit of a problem. But you can limit the results to a certain amount of images, which sometimes is a good idea, sometimes might not be a good idea. But for example, this catalog thinks that I have 25 images of crocodiles. And to be honest, I don't remember that I have shot any crocodiles, maybe sometime in, in, a, in a zoo or something, but I really don't have any images of crocodiles. But these are the results that it thinks is a crocodile. It's most likely the, the moving water that is kind of implementing that there is a crocodile in the water. But I don't know, maybe they were. I don't just see them. Maybe it knows more than that. Well, no, well, seriously. It's not perfect, like I said, but for me, it has worked so well that I'm, I, I've used it all the time. And let's try something else. Let's see how it works with eagles. It says that I have 182 images of eagles. And voila, it did a lot better job than it did with crocodiles. Let's try something general. Let's choose sports. It says that I have 4059 images of sports in my catalog. Let's see how good of a job it does. And this is actually quite astonishing result. It can really show me all my sport images or images that have something to do with sports in it. There are some arenas and such. I think it did a remarkable job on this particular search. Let's try one more. Let's see how it finds if I set the search criteria as dark. Let's see what it finds. And as you see, it did find images that are dark. I said that this is the last one, but there's one more thing I want to test is to combine two different categories or keywords and see what it finds. Let's see how it works if I add low contrast and as the dominant color red. And yes, it did find color red. Of course, that's probably quite easy. But is this low contrast? I think it is. But as you see, quite interesting results in all of these different searches. I think Exire Search 2 and Exire Photo is something worth to consider. And as I said, they have a good deal. It's minus 30% spring minus 30 deal right now. It's only valid for, I think, two days from the date this video was published. There is an affiliate link in the description down below that you might want to take a look and test the software. There's also a 14 day trial software so you can you can test it and see how it works on your computer and how good it is. And here is some more videos about image editing. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.